Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. In this video, I am going to discuss about how to check whether a character is uppercase letter, lowercase letter, digit or spatial symbol. So this first statement is a comment, then a header file is included, then inside main function I have declared a character variable, then a printf statement is showing enter a character message, it will be displayed on console. Then scanf will read that character which will be entered by the user. Now this if else combination is used for checking uh, whether the character which is entered by the user is uppercase, lowercase, digit or spatial symbol. So first focus upon this condition. In this condition I have mentioned ch greater than equals to 65 and ch less than equals to 90. So this 65 is ASCII value of capital A and this 90 is ASCII value of capital Z. So with this if condition I am going to check whether the, uh, whether the character which is entered by the user its ASCII value lies between this range between 65 to 90. If it is uh, it, if it lies in this range then uh, this if condition will become true. So printf will print uppercase letter. If this condition is false, then in else case uh, another if condition is mentioned for lowercase letter. So uh, the ASCII value of small a is 97 and ASCII value of small z is 122. So if the entered character's ASCII code lies between this, this range, then this if condition will become true. Uh, so it will print lowercase letter. If this condition is false, then another else contains another if condition. It is for digit. So here range is 48 to 57. So 48 is ASCII code of 0 and 57 is ASCII code of 9. So if entered characters ASCII code lies between this range, so this printf will print digit. If all these if conditions, this first second and third are false then at last this else will automatically uh, be executed and it will print spatial symbol. So now I am going to demonstrate this program by its execution. So first of all compilation it is showing uh, zero errors or warning. Now I am uh, running this program. So I will demonstrate uh, you this program four times. So uh, first of all I am entering capital A. So it is showing uppercase letter. Now second run I, I am entering small e. So it is showing lowercase letter. Again uh, for spatial symbol. So I have entered dollar so it is showing spatial symbol it is also correct and last a digit which is 4 so it is showing digit. So you can see that uh, in all four cases uppercase lowercase digit and spatial symbol this program is showing correct outputs. So with the help of this program you can easily check uh, whether the character uh, is uppercase, lowercase, digit or spatial symbol. Now uh, if, uh, if a programmer doesn't remember about the ASCII values, so there is another option. We can replace this ASCII values with uh, the corresponding characters. So 65 can be replaced with capital A and 90 can be replaced with capital Z. For 97 we can use small a. For 122, we can use small z. For 48, we can use 0. And for 57, we can use 9. But you have to uh, remember that you must be enclose these characters inside single quotes. Without single quotes, compiler will treat them as a variable or constant. So now, Again, I am compiling this program and executing this program. So again, I am entering capital A. So it is showing uppercase letter. If I run this program again and 
I am entering dollar so it is showing special symbol so there are uh, two alternatives uh, available to run this program uh, either you can use ascii code or you can use uh, characters according to a particular ascii value so implement this program in your laptop so that you can understand the concept very well thank you for watching this video